The Reading Police Department Citizens Academy has completed week six of the nine-week program, and Action News Now reporter Jesse Angelo is attending the academy, and this week takes a look at traffic and DUI enforcement. It's what you think of when you hear the word police. The flashing red and blue lights, the siren, and that nervous feeling you get when you see them in your rearview mirror. Week six of the Citizens Academy covered how the department's traffic and DUI enforcement is designed for everyone's safety. It's really one of those uh units that people often have negative interactions with because they're being pulled over and they're not happy about it but I really enjoyed learning kind of all of the behind the scenes and getting some context for um, why their role is so important and that they're not just looking to give people tickets but it's really being proactive and trying to keep the community safe. I recently went on a ride along with officer Alex Diaz. During my three-hour ride, he pulled over two vehicles, responded to several calls for suspicious activity, and even assisted other officers in the recovery of a stolen vehicle. The ride-along gave a unique perspective most people don't even think about. Uh, for the traffic unit, it's nice that we can be able to show who we are when we're out there because a lot of people just see us on the side of the road. They don't really know us and understand what we're doing out there. They just think maybe we're out there to... Uh, you know, just stop people and give them citations, but a lot of it is education too. Another big part of the traffic unit is the enforcement of DUIs. Sobriety checkpoints are set up several times a year at times and places that see a spike in drunk driving accidents. Officer Denham says there are two other ways they find impaired drivers. We sometimes come across those as traffic crashes. Uh, or we have officers who are out patrolling proactively looking for certain violations indicative of someone who might be driving a vehicle while impaired. Week 6 gave a good perspective on what life as a patrol officer is all about. So the next time you see a police officer in your rearview mirror, take a deep breath, relax, and know that they're there for everyone's safety. In Reading, Jesse Angelo, Action News Now. Well, next week, Jesse takes a look at the detective unit and crime scene investigations.